we go, guys. Um, got the mind made up on putting the grass rake. Since I couldn't really make up my mind, I went kind of in between of big and small. I guess you call that a, a mini grass rake for a mini, mini air boot. We got that all undone, everything welded on the, on the side. We got the garner welded on this side. Almost finished with the welding on the other side. And as we get all that done, I'm about to get back on the trailer. Make all the, the boards and everything that's got to go for that. Put the, uh, the winch base in place. And once I got the trailer all done, I'm going to take the boat off of it. Bring it back in here, flip it over. Do the welding on the bottom side. And uh, paint on the, put the wetland on the bottom. Whenever that gets in. We are... Uh, Move along. We're going to get it. Yeah. 
Got a bracket on to hold my fingers. Bracket to hold my guide board. My bracket to hold my light. And I got my bracket to hold my my springs in place. So got that done on both sides. Now I need to go make the piece for the front to put the winch and stuff on. That's going to be a challenge. I started on that once already. Cut it loose. We're going a different route with it. See if we can make something look decent on it. Get that done and we'll get the boat off this frame, flip it over, get that bottom welded up. All the ground is done on it and start putting some of that uh, wetland on the bottom. Once we got that wetland on that, we're going to flip it back over, put it back on the trailer. And start rigging it up. Won't be long being in that water. Hopefully this thing gonna do something. There we go guys. Quick little update. Just gotta mount my hitch on the front. I gotta decide if I wanna bolt it or weld it. Probably gonna weld it. I got my rack made for my winch. Put a little rubber stop. Got the axle all made, running boards, mounts in place, mounts for the fender and for the light. I'm having a little issue right now. They're trying to find U bolts for an inch and a half square tubing that's long enough to go all the way through. And better put that plate on the bottom. I got some two inch. That I can use on that. Problem I'm having with the two inch. There's a little hole right here. There's a hole right there. Not quite big enough to get over the nut on the bottom of the spring. It may be on the top for some reason. I don't know. But you can see the difference in the size. It's supposed to be. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and drill them holes out to to the right size. Mount them on place. And once I got them, that axle locks and springs, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out of here. Take the boat off the trailer. Get the trailer out there. Maybe ready to paint. And get the boat in here. Get it upside down. Finish the bottom on it. Put the wet lander. I got the back of the transom almost done. I got these these pieces right here. It's gonna well right there on that. But I had to leave those off. So I can clamp a, a board on the side right here to get my distance for my for my runner supports. Well my guys not runners but my guys supports. Got the sand pretty much finished. Just gotta build a fuel tank for it. And like I said before, went ahead and put that uh, little grass rake on there. I think it kind of helped the boat a good little bit. Kind of brought it out a little bit better. Anyhow, guys, that's where we at right now. From this point on, it's going to be uh, slow moving for sure. But we make it headway. Well, anyhow, guys, thank y'all for following along, and um, eventually we're going to get this thing in the water. I'm ready to go play.